but look, he has friends down here. January 1st. Happy New Year. I am at the Charleston Antique Mall where they are doing an annual event which is the dealers get to set their own discounts for the sale. Normally the store is in complete control of when dealers can do a sale and they do several throughout the year but it's like 15% off. So this this is the time where the dealers get to do 25, 30, I don't know, maybe somebody will be doing some crazy 50% off. But I thought it was a good time to come down here, do a little shopping, see what I could find. Now I am going to be looking for higher end items that have, oh, let's, let's say, I, you know, I want to have like a $30 profit margin built into anything that I buy today. So that means I'm going to have to resist cute little fun stuff, which is really hard for me. But I need to do that. I have a lot of cute little fun stuff. Uh, so we're going to go in there and see what we can find. And it'll be a good test of my new microphone system. Uh, so far, it's been doing pretty good with the Goodwills. This place does play the music quite loud. So we'll see if we can overcome it and get this video up. All right. Well, if you're seeing this, this video is up. So, so with that, let's go get shop done. All right. This booth is 25% off and I have found some good things here in the past. I like those birds. I may have to look at those. Those are pretty cool. Got some glass. Ooh, it's a really pretty piece of glass up there. I might take a closer look at that. 65s, Fenton. Lots of Fenton in this booth. I may pick up a piece or two of Fenton. Look at this beautiful piece. This is a hundred year piece. It's got an amberina to it. Really, really pretty. Let's see what else. Got some bohemian glass there. I always love coming and getting my hands on some good glass. Ooh, look at this piece here. This is Viking. It is Amberina. Ah, I wonder if I have my black light with me. I bet that glows at the base. Okay, now for me to do the math, it would be... This booth is 25% off, so it would be... It would be like $6, so it would be $19. That might be worth it. I think my live sale people would really like this piece. There's this piece up here too, which I really like. It would only be $15. So I think I'm gonna pick that one up too. Really pretty color. I wanted to show you this piece. This little applied decoration on here is called Riggery. And uh, there's some companies that did it. Stevens and Williams is a company that did this. They're calling this a Victorian vase. Now what's throwing me is the heaviness of it and kind of the coarseness. So I'm not, I'm not too sure about that, but it is a pretty piece. I'm not gonna get this one, but I did wanna show that to you. There are some cool Orifers heart paperweights here. There's the, the sticker. I don't know if these are actually signed also. Yeah, see, so if that sticker wasn't on there, you probably wouldn't know these were Orifers. And that happens a lot. There's quite a few people in here already. I got here early hoping to kind of find a little area I could go to and stay away from people. So I'm not able to show like all the stuff I'm wanting to show just yet, but oh, that's pretty. That is a pretty Fenton beaded. It's like one of those techniques, beaded, ruffled. Oh, really pretty. 55, this booth I think is 30% off. 20% off, my bad, 20% off. So I think it's still like 40, yeah. Oh. The spending can add up fast in an antique mall, so you have to be careful. Even with a discount going. 
Now that's the kind of sign I like to see. 50% off. It's a lot of clothes. Some Christmas. Definitely not looking for Christmas right now, but let's see. There's a couple little hard goods things piled in here. Let's see. Anything that we can't live without? Hmm? I am just not seeing anything. Oh, I see a horse head. Let's move the little coconut all over. Let's see who you are. The horse planter. It's a Napco. Oh, it's Napco with a barcode, though. Yeah. That doesn't super excite me. All right. Nothing in this one. I found something I am in love with. Look at this bird sculpture. Oh. It is a Murano. It's one. It's twenty percent off in this booth. I might have to come back for this one. I'm also seeing this really unique piece of Murano glass. Look at this, with the the kind of the pink frosting is what it looks like. This is a really neat piece. Super scratched on the bottom, so you might think that's cloudy bottom, but it's not. It's just scratched from age. Of sitting on a shelf and you know over time like just moving around on the little micro particles of dust that's cool oh my goodness this booth has really good stuff I'm, I'm kind of looking at this blue piece of glass right here too hmm hmm oh look at that cat he's pretty amazing are those stife? I do think they might be, or of that era. Okay, let's see. I'm trying not to have to like get into cases, because that does take time, and I'm trying to stay ahead of the crowd, so I'm not in anybody's way. What are you? You're 65. You're a magnificent. Mexican pottery penguin. Oh my goodness, he's... I mean, the, the pelican's pretty cool too, but I'm really liking the penguin. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Might have to look look up a few things. Oh, look at the, like the mid-century kind of boomerang chandelier there. That is cool. We got some orange orange glass. It's priced well. They have a really good eye for mid-century in this booth, as you can see. With that lobster server there. Oh, that's so cool. I just found me a turtle basket that I might have to take home. Look how cool this guy is. He is sixty-five dollars. Says, let's see, a Keeler. He says Keeler. This is crazy. This is crazy. That happens just from um, a lot of times. It has to do with just a rapid change in heat, temperatures, humidity levels, that kind of a thing. He's pretty spectacular. Wowza. like him. Look at these napkin holders. Wow, those colors are pretty spectacular. Uh, $25 for the set. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this space, I think is 20% off. I'm just looking around. I think it's 20% off. It'll still be like 20 bucks for these. I know they are pretty cool. Just don't know if I can do twenty dollars on them. Like I said, I'm gonna be looking some stuff up for sure. Cause there is just some cool stuff here. Alright. I found 
found this little guy for Rachel. You know, Rachel's collecting Briar's horses, and she doesn't even care if they have a little damage or anything because she's going to start kind of customizing some of those ones with damage and such. Um, I'm looking forward to her little project. So he's $19, but he is 20% off in this booth. So we are going to go ahead and get him. And he is marked right there on his belly. Let's see if I can show you what a Briar's mark looks like. There it is. Sometimes it's like here on the uh, inside of the back leg or on the belly. There you go. Here we have some really nice pieces of carnival glass. And what I like about this dealer's booth is they have them identified. They're saying if they're, you know, Fenton or Northwood or they're giving the pattern. I love that. A lot of dealers are no longer spending the time to find out what the patterns and things are. So I really appreciate these dealers who do that work and do that research. This person knows their carnival glass and that's really nice. And this is what I'm talking about. If you come to a place like this, you can see in person stuff, stuff that's already identified. I just had to come get a closer look at these Cheshire cat prints. Uh, let's see, $310. Who's the artist on these? Let's see if we can make it out. Oh, I cannot tell what that says. Sometimes there'll be like a, a certificate of authenticity on the back and it makes it a little easier to figure it out, but I'm not going to take them down to find that. Super cool though. I just spotted this little cutie. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's missing one of his little antenna and he's got a little chip. He's in a Nesco. Really super cute. Boy, wish he didn't have that damage though. Darn it. Oh, I might have found another little addition to our bird cabinet. Does have a chip though. I'm trying to be better about buying stuff with chips. Although I do like, I do like the. It's, I think that's a hyacinth macaw, which was always my dream bird. Maybe one day, someday, when I get brave enough to have a big parrot. No, honestly, I'm a, I'm a little squeamish about the big beaks. I'm working my way up. Bougie's like trying to get me over that fear. This booth is 60% off, so we're going to take a peek. Oh, I just I just found this shirt, and I took it off of their thing, but it looks like they might have more, so I can put their display back up together. Look at this. is a cool shirt. I'm going to put this other one back on the hanger, but show you. I dream of flea markets, antiques, roadside finds, collectibles, and vintage goods. That's my shirt. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that's super cool in this booth. I do like the little uh, topiary bunny. I like these old windows. I do like the old windows too. Oh, let's see. Kind of a cool shell. Oh, I thought it was a shell. It's a swan. Come on, Danny. Look at these pearlized handle, fancy little silverware. I don't know who makes them. They don't appear to be marked. Oh wait, the knife has a mark. Let's see what the knife says. It says Argent. Argent. Okay, focus. Focus. All right, let's see what else. Got a little Pyrex over here. The green. I don't know the Pyrex patterns well enough. Okay, this is cool. This is a Mickey Mouse pepper grinder. This space is. Hold on. Each one has a little sign. 25% off. So he would be. Ah, I can't do math in my head and film and talk at the same time. But he would be around 20 bucks I want to say it's pretty cool Let's see what else I just kind of like these little I like that <laughs> that was good ideas for my own decorating when I come to where these things are merchandised so nicely too 
I don't implement a whole lot of it, but it gets the idea in my mind at least. So maybe someday, someday I'll get things decorated using some of those ideas. Look at this amazing piece down here. Wowza, I think that's like real turquoise put in that bowl. Oh, that's gorgeous. $150. Yeah, it's worth every penny of that. And this booth, I think, is 30%. Yep, 30% off. So, whoo, that's tempting. Kind of a cool chest. It's painted to look like cowhide, but it's not. It's wood. I'm kind of giggling because I'm hearing some people behind me talking about having birds and how messy they are. <laughs> it's so true. They are little mess makers. Oh my goodness, that music just uh, got really, really loud over my head. So I'll be back. I have to show you this real quick. Look at this adorable, adorable little guy. I don't know who makes him. He's kind of that rubber, vinyl rubber. He is Pepper. Kmar Squirrel, $12.50 minus, I think this booth is 30% off. I have to have him. I spotted a cool piece kind of back here, tucked in a little cabinet. Ooh. Now, he says it is Murano, but I wanted to show you this because this is one of the uh, reproduction labels. And one of the reasons you can tell, look how the gold is not even. See how the edges are not even. And then you look at it and it's the quality is just not there. See how it's off center? It's just not quite right, so it's not true Murano. All right, I found another mug for for Miss Rachel. Look at this cool. It's ten dollars minus twenty five percent. It's got a pewter horse on it. That's really neat. She will like this one. So I looked down and I saw. This little book that has like this little baby parrot on it. I'm like, what is this? Griffin and Sabin. What is this? Is it? Oh, it's like a about stamps. It's like a stamp book. Okay, I just love the little baby parrot. I am really bummed these shoes are not my size because they are pretty spectacular. This is Miss Carrie's booth. So some things may look a little familiar <laughs> from our shopping trips. She's got a lot of little smalls in here. A lot of little fun stuff. She loves the little fun stuff. So if you see anything, let me know. I'm sure she would be more than happy to ship. Let's see what else we got. She loves the baggies. She likes to put things in baggies. Got a moon and stars. Green dish. Oh, she's got a good price on that with her 25% off. Let's see what else she's snuck in here since we've been here last. She has some fun stuff, for sure. Those might look a little familiar. She's home tagging today to bring some more stuff in for tomorrow because the sale runs today and tomorrow. So she'll be bringing stuff in. Look at the jewel Christmas trees. I just think these are the coolest thing. All the time spent in making those. These are great. All right, what is this guy? Oh my goodness. He's a... Uh... Okay, I, made, I was making sure that was attached on there before I looked further at him. Did you get something? He's got a little mark there. I don't know how. 
Let's see, he's $22 and this booth is 25% off. I am kind of digging him. Let's see. This one's 22 That's That's a neat piece too. Oh, goodness, so many choices. So many choices. A little cat lamp. It's 29 Ooh. We got some birds here. It's a be 25% off. I think the size of this one makes this a good purchase. It's a Leo Ward. Yep, we're going to grab that one. Gonna see if maybe there's any more of these little birds hanging around in this booth. Oh, I see a swung vase. It is an Amberina. It's 25% off of 42. Ooh, I just don't know. I just don't know enough about the resale on those to know if I can still have some meat on the bone with that one. The good thing is the sale is running tomorrow as well. So I can go home, I can do a little research and then come back tomorrow if I find out that some of this stuff is good. So. Well, not that it's good, that it's at a point where I can buy it and have some profit. So, do a quick scan of the shelves here. No, I don't see any more bluebirds, darn it. Oh, I do like me some hanging strawberries. But you know what I don't like is they got the little hole in the side. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That's what's, that's what's holding me back. All right, I'm spotting a piece of blue opalescent glass, 45. This is a Jefferson, 45, and the discount here is 20%. Oh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to leave it for now because that would be a personal purchase, and I'm just not sure on that. Glowy glass. Look at this amazing guy. He's a 1999 uh, Kokloma. It's the Russian lacquerware. He's a bowl. Wow, it's got his little original tag under there. He's spectacular. I just found these little wood birds. They're $4 each. I'm going to get these to go on our bird themed tree. Oh yeah, this booth is 20% off. Look at this rabbit cookie jar. With Easter, going to be like right around the corner. This is 25% off. Uh, I think this one is a no-brainer. I got to pick him up. There's his tag on the bottom. Nagoya, Japan. National Silver Company. That's interesting. I know my friend Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas absolutely loves these Tanala pottery animals. See, this one's even marked Tanala. So I think I am going to pick that up for her. I'm kind of checking out this little nativity scene. I see, oh, I think I see Mary Joseph, Mary Joseph, baby Jesus. We got one, two, we got three wise men and a couple other things. $22.50 minus 25%. I'm going to grab this. This is a cool little set. Let's see who makes this one. Ah, it's not marked. Sometimes some of these companies only marked like on the big piece. So let's see. Nope. Which means they probably had put a label on it. $45. Really cute. This guy is not, let's see. Oh, this is one of those side loads. I hate those. Anyway, this is not a, this is the Cardinal of, I want to say Cardinal of Love by the same makers as the Bluebird of Happiness, but this is the Cardinal of Love. I gotta figure out how much he is. He's only $10 minus, I think it's 20% in this booth. Let me go double check. Yep, 20%, so we are gonna get the Cardinal of Love. But look, he has friends down here. Oh my goodness, okay. I really, these cabinets make me so nervous because you have to reach in. First, I have to see this guy. And I just love the color of this one. It's 13 minus 20%. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab him because he's just gorgeous. So we're gonna get him. 
And let's reach in there and see if we can get his little, his little bluebird friend. He is $10. Oh my goodness. Yes. Is he a, yep. He's a Leo Ward. Yay. So we're going to get him. And let's see who this little orange guy is. Oh, I need longer arms. There we go. He's a cute little guy. Now he is $14, which, oh, it says four piece. Huh? So you know what? We're going to, we're going to find out what that's about because he doesn't have anybody else with him. So we're going to, we're going to see what the deal is on that one. So they've got these little animals in here too. Of course, there's a turtle, there's an owl, and there's an elephant. And they look like the elephant's 10. So I don't know about him. He's 10. And this little guy is five. So we'll get him. So you guys always hear me talking about the Christmas that sells all year long. And I talk about collectible, vintage. This is the kind of stuff. But if you spot this kind of stuff, this stuff is awesome and will sell any time of the year. So what a great little cabinet full of stuff. I love this. This is a candy cane Christmas tree and it is 30% off of $12. So I'm going to grab it. I don't know if you can really see it, if it's coming through this flock of seagulls wall hanging. It's all very three dimensional here. I'll look up at it so you can see it hangs away from the wall. Oh, I kind of love that. I was just about to head to the checkout and realized I didn't look at this little side for booths. Look at this little blue decanter. It's not super old. It says made in Belgium on the bottom. It's 15. And then this is really interesting. It's, they're calling it a pitcher. It does have a pitcher lip, but there's no handle, which I thought was interesting. And then these little, oh, they have no weight. That's interesting. Are they, is that a mark on there? It's like a little oval that's meant to be in there, but I don't see, I don't actually see a maker's mark. They're not, they're not heavy enough to be Blanco. So that's interesting. Just a neat little grouping there. These are pretty spectacular. These are Bryce El Rancho Sherbets. Amberina. That's when you mix that red and that yellow together. Oh, these are just gorgeous. There are eight of them for $68. Minus, I think this one's 30%. Found some more pretty blue glass. This booth is 30% off. I don't know if this was meant to be like a drinking glass or a vape. Oh wait, I think I spot a crack though. Is that a... Nope, it's just a weird ridge made at the time of manufacturing. It's $10. There's the little crude pontal. $10 minus 30, so it's $7 for that glass. I don't know. I might come back tomorrow because they're running this sale all weekend and I have a little time to think about, research, make some really good choices. Okay. This really adorable Annalie. Oh my goodness, it's a 1991. It's $12 with a 20% discount. Okay, that one's coming with me too. So this booth usually has some good mid-century glass. Uh, it is 20% off, but I'm not sure any of these are like the really desirable ones. It's just not really my uh, forte at this point is doing all the swung bases and stuff. So I kind of, I let other people deal with those. I don't know. I'll do a little research. I do like this ashtray down here though. Ooh, this is Murano. Again, don't get confused with scratches and clear. Um, the scratches are not what we're talking about with a cloudy base. This is Murano. It's got the look, it's got the feel. And uh, 28 minus 20%. I think I'm going to grab that one too.
I spent $300. Oh shoot, I just realized I forgot to give them my resale certificate. I paid tax. Darn it. I gotta get better at that. I just, you know, these little things. Yeah, I could have saved a little bit of money doing that. Anyway, I'm super happy with my purchases. I did go back and get the blue opalescent vase for myself. Um, but quite a few things for resale. Quite a few things for resale. Many of them will be showing up in my live sales versus eBay. A lot of people go, what's your eBay store? My poor eBay store is so neglected right now because, uh... As I said in the last video, I think I said it in the last video, maybe I said it in my live sale, my eBay operations are uh, not set up yet. I, you know, I moved, then I had COVID, and then Christmas and party planning, and everything got stashed into the room that is my working eBay room. So that is the 2022 first goal of the year is to get the uh, eBay business operations operational. Uh, so that's gonna start happening this week. But, you know, you guys, you can always either come to the live sales or email me if you see something that you really want to buy because uh, I really want to sell it. So it's a match made in heaven. All right, I'm going to get home now. Enjoy the rest of this day. Try not to work too much. I'm going to really try to take a somewhat day off. Yeah, like that's going to happen. <laughs> I'll probably clean house. Uh, so with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.